Hey, math students. Today I want to, uh, I want to start with uh, an unusual problem. And uh, let's take a look at the slide here. Uh, we have two ants, and they're sitting on some graph paper. And there's a black ant, and the black ant is at the point negative 20, 18. And there's a red ant that's sitting at the point 2, negative 14. So I come in, I sit down at my desk, I startle the ants, they start running. So the first thing I realize is, man, i got to stop eating at my desk. This is getting terrible. But besides that, I notice that the black one, the black one is running every second, runs to the right three units and up one unit. Okay? And that's in a, that's in a straight line, okay? Not running first right and then up. Just running every second, the black one has gone up one unit and to the right three units. The red one, meanwhile, has run to the right one unit and up four units every second. So my question is, do they collide, and if so, where? Hmm. Well, let's see. First thing I thought to do was draw a little graph, okay? Here's my black ant at negative 2018. Here's my red ant at 2, negative 14. This one's going to the right three units and up one unit, so, you know, a, a not very steep slope, but a positive slope. This one is to the right one unit and up four units, so this is a quite steep, quite steep slope and also positive. So this one's going to go like this, and this one's going like that. And so here's the point where their paths cross. So their paths definitely cross, but that doesn't mean that they hit each other. It just means if they do hit each other, it's going to be right there. So I guess my next question would be, where is right there? Let's figure out what that point is. Now, we can try to do it graphically, but we're not going to be very precise that way. And I think I'm going to need some precision on this problem. So instead, let me do it algebraically. And I want to do it using what's called parametric equations. Okay? Parametric equations. Parametric equations are... So we're used to, to graphic equations and having y be the dependent variable and x be the independent, ver independent variable, and y is a function of x, right? With parametric equations, you have a third variable in there, and we, we call that a parameter. And usually we use t because it's good for time, okay? So uh, x is a function of t, and y is also a function of t, okay? So let me show you what I mean. Uh, I'm going to say for, uh, for my black ant, oh, I should write in black because it's a black ant. <laughs> All right. So for the black ant, we're starting at point 20, uh, sorry, not 20, negative 20 for x, and y is going to start at 18, right? And we said that uh, the black ant is running to the right three units and up one unit. So this is going to be plus 3t, because that's three units for every second, and this is going to be plus t. Meanwhile, our red ant x is going to be, we're starting at 2, and y starts at negative 14, if I remember correctly. And uh, the red ant is running to the right 1 unit and up 4 units. So this will be 2 plus t, and this will be negative 14 plus 4t. So those are our two sets of parametric equations. Now, I wanted to know where that intersection point was, right? Well, Hmm. So I guess in order to do that, I should probably change these to, so that I have y as a function of x for both of these, and then I can set the y's equal to each other and figure out what that point is. All right, let's do it. Um, so in order to, to, uh, to write this as y being a function of x, as one equation with just y and x, I need to get rid of the t. So let me, uh, let me use this one, and I'm going to say... Uh, x plus 20 equals 3t, so that means t 
is x plus 20 over 3. And then I'm going to take this, and that's what t is, so I'm going to plug that in for t. And so I get y equals 18 plus x plus 20 over 3. And that's kind of like saying y is 1 third x plus 18 plus 20 thirds. I believe that comes out to 24 and 2 thirds. Y'all can check me, see if I'm right. I sure hope I am. Okay, so there's, there's the line that my black ant is running on. Now let's check out the red ant. Okay, red ant, we're going to, well, this is easy. Uh, I can say if x equals 2 plus t, then t equals x minus 2. All right, take that, plug it into this t right there. So I'm going to get y equals negative 14 plus 4 times x minus 2. And that means y equals 4x minus 14 minus 8. That's minus 22. Okay, so I have this equation and this equation. And now what I want to do is I want to put them together and find out uh, what the intersection point is. Easily done. Uh, you just set 1 third x plus 24 and 2 thirds equal to 4x minus 22. Adding 22, I get 46 and 2 thirds. Uh, subtracting uh, 1 third x, I get 3 and 2 thirds times x. So x equals 46 and 2 thirds divided by 3 and 2 thirds. And that comes out to something. That comes out to 140 over 11, also known as uh, 12 and 8 elevenths, or approximately 12.727. Can you read that? I think I barely got it in there. Okay, so suffice it to say, uh, the intersection point is twelve and seven two seven, and once I plug that into my equations uh, to get my y, I get ten point seven two seven. Is that right? No, that can't be right. It's not right. <laughs> okay. So 12.727 and 28, that's right, 0 0.909. Okay. So now what I know is if the ants collide, it's going to be right there. So how can I find out if the ants actually collide? Well, that means they need to arrive at that point at the same time. That means T needs to be the same thing over here as it is over here. Okay, all right, well, that means, let me use the X. I could use the Y or I could use the X. I think I'm gonna use the X, it looks a little easier. And so I'll say, well, when does uh, 12.727, and actually I'm gonna be more precise here, I'm gonna say uh, 12 and, I believe that was 8 elevenths. When does that equal negative 20 plus 3T? Well, let's see, that means this is going to be 32 and 8 elevenths equals 3t. So t is going to be, let me cheat here, t is going to be 120 over 11, which is approximately 10.909. Okay? That's my black ant. Now for my red ant. Better write in red again. For the red ant, Oh, this is easy, okay? If x is 12.727, then that's equal to 2 plus t. That means t is 10.727. So what we see is the red ant is going to get to that point slightly before the black ant does. So my, uh, the answer to my question is almost, almost, but not quite, uh, the two paths do intersect, but the red ant crosses the intersection point slightly before the black ant does. So let me, uh, um, let me show you what this looks like on a graph, okay? 
So let me uh, crank up my friend Desmos here. You see that I have uh, this black line. That's the path of the, uh, of the black ant. And the red line. That's the path of the red ant. And here's the intersection point. Whoops. There it is. Uh, 12.727 and 28.909, right? And we have our two points here where the ants start. Well, what I'm going to do is let me, uh, let me hide these lines here for a second. And let me redefine uh, how I drew those lines. And I'm going to do it using parametric equations. So for the black ant, instead of saying it's at the point negative 20, 18, I'm going to say it's at the point negative 20, plus 3t and 18 plus t. And here you see uh, t is going from 0 to 20. So that's the portion, that's the segment of that line uh, where t is between 0 and 20. And now for my uh, red ant, I'm going to define this to be uh, 2 plus t, that's what we called x before, and y is going to be negative 14 plus 4t. And there we go. When uh, That's using Desmos, well, using Desmos to, uh, to graph parametric equations. You just graph it as if it's a point. And you put your function of uh, what x is in, uh, as a function of t in the first position and what y is as a function of t in the second position. Okay, but here's where it gets... A little more fun. Let's come down here and say, I want t to be zero. So now I've gone back to just having points again. And I'm going to say, let's have t go from zero to 20. And I want to animate this. And let's have it go kind of slow. All right, there they go. The ants are running along there. And they're getting pretty close. And oh my goodness, it ooh, from here it does look like they hit each other. Ooh, well, hang on a second. Let's pull that back. And let's zoom in and see. Okay, now let's see. And they're coming along there, and yo, sure enough, the red ant gets there slightly before the black ant does. So yes, our calculations were correct. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Parametric equations can be fun. Okay, so what do I want you to get out of this? Uh, I want you to know what parametric equations are, okay? And I want you to uh, be familiar with the technique of turning parametric equations into a single equation uh, with x and y by getting rid of your parameter t. Now, these are linear, so this is pretty easy. In the next video, we're going to look at some, uh, some graphs that are not linear, and it gets a little bit more involved. Okay, so till then, bye-bye.